This is the 1984 Coulter 10-inch F4.4 Odyssey Dobsonian Reflecting Telescope. And this telescope has incorporated into it the Teleview 3 Power Barlow Kufield Telrad. Now this telescope is a 10-inch reflector. Take a look down the tube here. You can see the primary mirror. That's the large one at the bottom there. The secondary is up in front. Okay, 10 inches of clear aperture. This is the Dobsonian mount. This is an older one, so it has a little bit of age to it, but it is a good working telescope. And this telescope will actually outperform a 10 inch refractor. So if you had a 10 inch refractor of F12, this telescope as it sits will outperform that 10 inch refractor. Why? Well one, we can certainly see size. The reflecting telescope, because of its optical design, does not incorporate the chromatic aberration that a refracting telescope does have. And this telescope is, of course, a lot less expensive. But the main thing is in portability. And, of course, being of Coulter Optics, why it's going to have a superb optical image for both lunar and planetary, especially with the very fine Teleview Barlow, that is 3 power, which gives this f point four point five the equivalent in terms of magnification thirteen point five reflector. So it would be a telescope that would compete and be much more superior than a 10 inch F12 refractor or even a 10 inch F15. Now again this is the Coulter Odyssey. It's a 1984 vintage. It's a standard as you can see here. It's a very fine telescope for lunar and planetary observing. It is designed as a light bucket to look at galaxies and nebulas. You can use two inch or inch and a quarter eyepieces with it. But this is one of the finest telescopes that's been made for amateur astronomers worldwide. And again, this is a 1984 Coulter Odyssey. And it does incorporate a Teleview 3 power Barlow which is an excellent borrow to use to make this a lunar Dobsonian.